So some of you may have noticed, I haven't uploaded in the last week. Some of you may not have noticed. My analytics definitely noticed. But I tell you, this break was a long time coming. You've heard me say in a few videos in the past, look, I needed to take a break. I needed to take two, three days off. But those two, three days weren't enough. And it was getting very bad. I'll tell you now. You know, I was recording a video last week and it was all to do with the Chicago stuff, but it just wasn't happening. Right? I couldn't speak for some reason. I just couldn't put a sentence together. I was getting so angry. So in that moment, I decided, now you know what? You need to take a break now. And for somebody who hasn't taken more than five days off at once whilst doing YouTube, it was a big thing, right? But I had to take it. I hated taking the break. And every day I saw a topic I wanted to record, but I was like, no, you need to do it for yourself. And I'm not looking for any sympathy with this video, by the way. I just want to tell you what I've been through, why I took a week off, and maybe some people can relate to it. I was going through the biggest mental, spiritual, physical battle of my life. I've never been through anything so tough in my life. And it was hard. And to really say what was happening was, you know, I was putting a load of pressure on myself, internal pressure, firstly. Right, I put a load of pressure on myself to succeed. And I think a load of people do. You know, for me, YouTube is all or nothing, right? It's plan A. So that stress builds up over time. And I feel like a lot of people will relate with this, you know, prolonged stress over time gives you burnout because your brain, your body just can't handle it, right? Then you tie in the external pressures. You've got friends, family. You've got to be careful about what you say. Every video, you've got to be careful, right? Because... I'm only a small YouTuber, so there's no one I can really reach out to if anything bad happens to my channel, which we'll get into in a bit as well. You have to be careful what video topic you do. You know, every email I was getting at one point because I was seeing what other channels were going through, I thought that was something bad happening to my channel. And I don't think that's exaggerating. It's just the reality of doing this, right? So all of that was just building up. And then, you know, to counter that, I thought, you know what? Well, let's try and make myself feel good. You know, I was choosing easy dopamine, right? I was eating unhealthily because it just felt good. I wasn't working out because it felt good. I didn't go outside because it just felt good just to lie around. I was scrolling on social media for hours because it made me feel good. And especially when you're talking about the culture war, you're getting involved in it, it's really easy to get absorbed in everything. And you just find yourself scrolling for hours. And it was destroying my... You know what, I'll be honest, I was destroying my brain. I really was. Um, at one point before I was going through this burnout, I was making videos and finishing them by like one or two in the afternoon, which then left me the rest of the day to do stuff. It got to the point where I wasn't finishing videos till like five o'clock in the evening, and that doesn't sound too bad, right? But I hadn't really eaten, I hadn't worked out, I hadn't been outside. It was literally solitary confinement. And there's only one person to blame, and that's me. Right, only one person. I take full responsibility, full accountability. I should have known, right? I know I'm better than that. It's just, I didn't know what to do at the time. So I had to go on a dopamine detox, which essentially means you cut out all easy forms of dopamine to kind of reset your brain. And within the week I took off, my brain felt great. It felt amazing to go outside a lot more, work out, eat well, stay off social media, read, meditate journal, all of those things, it felt great. So even during the break, I wanted to come back and I was seeing loads of video topics. I was like, oh, I want to talk about this. I knew I had to take a break and it has been amazing. And I'll tell you now, before we get into anything else, I feel better than ever. I've, I've got so much energy. I feel great. And it got to the middle of last week, right? I was feeling good. I was feeling great. And I turned on my phone the next morning because I hadn't been on it the night before. And I don't know what day it was, but I see Matt Walsh's channel has been demonetized, which that's a huge thing, right? Because we all thought people that worked for the Daily Wire had huge protection. Well, obviously not. He announced it in a speech. He said he got a few violations surrounding Dylan Mulvaney. And I believe YouTube told them, told Matt Walsh, look, you can only come back on the platform and make money if you use the right pronouns for Dylan Mulvaney and basically other people, which obviously Matt Walsh isn't going to do. And I thought, all right, OK, I see what they're doing. You know, they're using Matt Walsh as an example by telling everybody, look, if you don't do what we're telling Matt Walsh to do, you will also go through the same thing, potentially. And if they can go after Matt Walsh, they can go after anybody, which, you know, we all know that. Anyway, 
So I kind of moved on from that. I didn't let it get to me because you know, I wasn't really uploading at the time. I thought, ah, you know, I just moved on. Then I think it was like Friday or Saturday. I get an email and I'm like, it's from YouTube. I'm like, oh, what is this? And I see we have removed your content. I'm like, wait, what? I checked the email and it was all to do with Matt Walsh and Dylan Mulvaney. So they're obviously cracking down on everything to do with that Matt Walsh passionate uh, speech, shall we call it, on Dylan Mulvaney. And they took it down. Luckily, I didn't get a strike, right? And then I was seeing other people on social media having their videos taken down as well surrounding Dylan Mulvaney. I saw the quartering and others had the video taken down. I think Tim Pool also had videos taken down. I don't know what ones they were. I don't really watch him too much, but I saw he had his videos taken down. And the key theme was most people that got their videos taken down didn't receive a strike. I think one or two people did, but in the grand scheme of things, not many people did. And I didn't receive a strike, which I was very surprised about, you know? But me being me, and I was like, nah, there's no way you can take this video down. There's nothing really wrong with it. I didn't really even say anything too much. I'm just guessing it was the Matt Walsh part they want purged off YouTube. I appealed it, right? I was like, hey, look, guys, I don't think this is fair. You know, many other people spoke about this. Uh, I just want what is fair, basically. You know, I understand you've got to regulate your website. And they come back an hour late and say, mm, your appeal's been rejected. But then on top of that, I get another email. <laughs> And they give me a channel warning or something. So it's not a strike, but it's a warning. So I appealed them taking my video down and then they slapped me in the face again by giving me a channel warning, which essentially means the next time I will get a strike and I won't be, I won't be able to upload for a week. So I want to say now, I want to thank you all so much for the support you have given me, right? And I'm saying this because I don't know when or where this journey ends, right? It's not in my hands, essentially. You know, if you ever see me not upload for a week or ever again, just know it's not me. I understand six months is around the threshold that I have before I take another week off. So that's what we're going to do. But if I don't upload for a week, that's not me, right? So I want to thank you now because I don't know where and <laughs> how it ends, you know, which is a sad thing because I love YouTube. It's just the route they're going down doesn't really make any sense. It's just harming their creators, and it's a big risk doing what you're doing right now. I understand I'm taking a bigger risk than most people my age, right? I'm in my 20s. Most people my age don't do what I'm doing. They don't speak what I'm speaking about. So I understand I'm taking a big risk. And I'll tell you, if I didn't take this week off and I was seeing what I was seeing, I probably would have had a worse reaction to it. But, you know, I, I've adopted more stoicism into my life and I'm living by great quotes now you know I'm just learning not to care because if it happens it happens there's nothing I can do about it right there's nothing I can do and God obviously is saying this isn't for you right so we will continue as normal I will have to change the way I say certain things I guess just to make sure we're extra safe I just recorded a video about the Bud Light situation surrounding Dylan Mulvaney and you know, rewording certain things was hard, but I guess that's what we're going to have to do. But I feel great. That is the main thing, right? And I just want to say you should never really sacrifice your health for success and worth because it is not worth it. I was destroying myself just for views and more subscribers and making sure to get a topic out every single day because the people I want to be like, you know, I want to have my channel on their level. You know, I see Officer Tatum, Black conservative perspective, all great YouTubers, Brett Cooper, obviously, Ben Shapiro, Michael Knowles, Matt Walsh, Candace Owens, all of those people, right, that make similar videos. I see they were, how they were operating their channels and I followed suit. I was just ignorant to think somebody by themselves could do it, right? I was trying to upload several times a day whilst I was sorting everything out myself and, you know, I should have slowed down a little bit. But going forward, we will continue uploading every single day. And let's just hope it all goes okay. You know, as I keep saying, I feel good. And I'm ready to come back and make videos again, which is great. I love this. I've missed it so much. But the break was needed, I'll tell you now. So I look forward to seeing you in the days, weeks to come, in all the future episodes. Thank you as well by sticking by this channel and giving all the support you do. I really really do appreciate it. I'll stop there. I feel like I'm going in circles now. I don't think I've forgotten 
anything. No, I don't think I have. I hope you've all been good. I hope you've all had a good week. And I'll see you in the next one. It has been your boy JD. I'm out. Peace.